Hi there Virgo, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 6th of April. Yours is a sign of precision, of discrimination. Your ability to weigh up what really counts is often your best suit. And this week, with the Sun combining with Uranus, it's possible that you're going to unearth a gem in the terms of the way you understand something and can get really ahead of other people, especially when it comes to marshalling financial resources. If you are an entrepreneurial spirit, this is a marvellous week for you really to show whatever you've been developing on the back burner and just how far-sighted you can really be. But equally, there could be someone else who confronts you in a way you're not expecting. Now this is because Uranus is a very random type of influence. It can be very good, but also it can see other people behaving much more unpredictably towards us. So anything to do with what you share or where you're closely involved with others, it's important you do not take them for granted because the Sun and Uranus together and then Mercury and Uranus together later in the week are going to be caught up in the square between Uranus and Pluto which has been ongoing for the last three years or so. So it's possible that there can be very strong compelling emotions bubbling around. This can see you drawn towards someone. Are they really right for you? Is it someone who's going to have something of a fascination with you? All this can happen very quickly. Things generally are going to be quite fluid this week. But there are also opportunities. Because with the Sun and Uranus together, and then Mercury and Uranus, both are going to be angling up brilliantly to Jupiter. Now Jupiter is the planet of good fortune and expansion. But for you it has been locked away in a rather more philosophical part of your scope. Now through to August the 11th, it's going to continue there, but it starts to go forwards this week after tracking back for four long months. And you could start to appreciate something more and more, and it could be just by thinking things through, and you can come to some really fascinating insights. And it may surprise you by just how valuable you see yourself, your own talents, some possessions you have, or even someone in your circle. There could be someone who's acting as some kind of spirit guide, which is exciting as well. Or you can fulfill this role of mentor towards someone else. But then, by the end of this week, Venus climbs right to the top of your situation, known as the solar midheaven. If you are someone who wants to make progress at work, this is really interesting. It's possible in the next 28 days that someone's going to do something that can really help you to get ahead. They may do this without saying a single word to you. On the other hand, it could be a ringing endorsement of your talents through some kind of testimonial. And either way, their help and the bond that you forge with this person, and this person could be older or younger than you, can really be interesting in terms of your financial resources. But equally, when it comes to your love life, you may s find yourself thinking more about the future, about the more solid side of relating, the less flirty side. You've had a lot to think about over the last four weeks, and some of it has really been very enlivening and exposed you to new ideas or a new person. But is this something that's going to really convert into something more long-lasting? I think you're going to find out, especially in the week following this one, which could be a very interesting time for one particular involvement. And finally, at the end of this week, there is a quarter moon, which occurs in your sister Earth sign of Capricorn. This one angles back across the heavens towards Aries again. So we get the same axis there for you, which is the fifth, eighth house. Again, to do with compulsions. And maybe you will find yourself doing something which maybe is a little bit uh, beyond your normal bounds, where you're not going to be quite so discriminating and just go for it, but it certainly won't be dull. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.